surface. You guys are going to want to be careful if in the event that you do push your needle into it, you could bend it. And uh, you can draw really thin lines like... To try to draw through a whole piece of paper. And here's a stroke that like... Uh, don't get discouraged because you're going to want to add to the least amount of paint that's coming out of the airbrush. So when you pull the trigger back just a little bit and begin to move, the spray is going to be very thin if you're very close. Without backing the handle up too much, you're going to want to pull back more on your finger and then go back to not close, but where you started spraying. And what it'll look like, or you can get a feel of where that is from there. So that's what it'll look like. See, the airbrush is not moving away from the surface. But my line got thin and thick, and that's because I'm working the trigger well and in motion. And I learned that from handwriting, just the letter E and thousands and thousands and thousands of these motions. But when you get that, you'll have, you'll be able to stay close and then work the trigger and control your line. And that's the advantage of a, an airbrush that has dual action because the trigger is what controls the amount of paint, not the distance of the user. But that's something to try.